Hello everybody, Trooperhorn23 here, and today I'm adding another video to my mini-series of installing callouts for LSPDFR. Today we're going to learn how to install agency callouts. So these callouts are really good, and in fact they add a total of 29, I believe, callouts to the game. So it's quite a large pack. The installation is, however, quite simple. So if you click on that link in the description, it's going to bring you to the OS Gamer Network, and it should bring you to the HSC callouts right here. And you can read, I was right, it adds a total of 29 new callouts to your LSPDFR experience, broken down into several agency types. I believe this means if you play as police, it's going to give you certain callouts. If you play as sheriff, it will give you certain callouts. And um, I assume Highway Patrol, it may give you callouts for that. But regardless, it adds 29 new callouts, and that is quite a lot. So, in order to download this, you're going to need to sign up and create an account. Or if you um, don't have an account, you can, or I'm sorry, if you already have an account, you need to sign in in order to download this. And once you have signed in and downloaded this, you can drag it out to your desktop like we have here. And we can go ahead and navigate to our Grand Theft Auto main directory. And mine is in my G drive. Remember, it's the one that is just Grand Theft Auto 5, not dash copy, not main LSPDFR. Well, that's what mine's called, but um, it should just be Grand Theft Auto 5. Once we're in here, you can go ahead and open the agency callout WinRAR that we have just downloaded, and inside it's going to contain an agency callouts folder. Now, we go into here, it's going to have files and readme. Don't need the readme. Just go into the files folder. And we're going to have all these right here. We have LSPDFR plugins, Dark Mirror API.dll, and Dark Mirror API.pdb, and the Rage Native UI. Now, of course, if you've been following my videos, you know we do not need this Rage Native UI. As you can see, this is December 31st of 2017. The One of the most updated ones is this one right here, February 18 of 2018. So, again, there is no need to replace this Rage Native UI. The only thing we have to do here is select everything except the Rage Native UI, so LSPDFR folder, the plugins folder, and both the dark mirrors, and drag them into your main directory just like that. And once it's done doing that, we can go ahead and exit out of both of these and head on into the game. Don't forget that I do have my own community Discord where you can come in here and hang out to talk with other people that play LSPDFR. Also, if you have any issues with installing any kind of modification or plugin, or just any issue with Grand Theft Auto in general, you can come in here and I have four help channels and a team of helper that can diagnose your problem and try to resolve it best as possible. I'm always looking for new members. The link to join the Discord will be in the description. I'll see you there. Alright guys, so once you are in the game, you want to go on duty and then press escape on your keyboard and go to the LSPDFR tab and when you go three down, you see callouts right here under settings and now you can just scroll through here, look at all these callouts that this just added, like this is ridiculous, look at all this, oh my gosh, it adds so many callouts and as always, you know, if they loaded by it saying loaded on the right hand side. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this 29 callouts. Uh, if you were unable to install this or any other plugin that's on my YouTube channel, don't forget to join the Discord. Uh, this is actually going to do it for today's video, so don't forget to like and subscribe and keep an outlook for future videos. And if you haven't already, check out other videos on my channel, and I hope to see 300 subscribers soon. I believe I'm at 216 right now, so I can't wait to see the future of my YouTube channel. So, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.